everyone and welcome to another episode of Hangout with ST. She's Alyssa. And he's Harry Anto. And Hangout with ST is a weekly show where we bring you top stories of the week. Anything that is local to everything that's happening around, around the, the world. world. And we are down to episode... 62. That is right. Oh. Yeah. You know what? Our chemistry is so good. I don't even need to look at you to know that you're not going to say it. Oh, is it? <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, but you know what? <laughs> We're coming to you live on the Straight Science News Show, so do leave your comments and we'll read it later during the show. Exactly, and of course, let your all your friends and family members know lah, that we're online, right? Mm. Yeah, and today we're mm. a bit colour coordinated, yeah, even I mean, though... We didn't discuss what to yeah. wear beforehand. Yeah, you see chemistry, right? It's our own uh, stuff as well, right, that we're wearing. Yeah, it's our own stuff. It's not other we got people. good, good stuff. Is it? Yeah, nice. <laughs> really man? Yeah, nice. This is just thick from anywhere. Oh, just your old things, uh, yeah, is it? Okay, my old got things, it. You know, that kind of thing. Hey, but today, wow, today has been quite a long day for been. the both of yeah, us. Maybe yeah. you want to tell everybody what you've been up to today at work. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just say long day and then not gonna Yeah, you know, it's just meetings after meetings and a rehearsal for something that's coming up. Yeah. We're not gonna, you know, share with you yet. See but he already thing. started sharing. <laughs> I spilled for that. Yes, what yes. what do you have exciting. to do today? I had to work. Mm. A little bit harder today. Yeah. And yesterday you were working as well. <laughs> uh, yes, I was. Uh, even though it was a uh, Labor Day, so much. Yeah, I mean, because it's Labor Day, right? Because it's Labor Day, so yeah. it's laborious. Working so okay on a special package for the education side. It will come out next Sunday. So yeah. Yeah. So Wait for yeah. that as well. Yeah, busy people. <laughs> busy, busy people. Busy. But hey, you know we're still here with you guys, uh, and still you know trudging on. Mm, mm. That's right. And this week we're going to be talking about uh, abuse in the workplace and what one can do. Uh, when faced with such situation. Mm. Mm. And then the second one is also talking about recycling in Singapore, how Singaporeans have the right heart, but we're going about the wrong way, doing it the with wrong way. With mm. recycling. Mm. And then uh, we're going to talk about the dawn of a new era for uh, Japan, which is the Rewa, Rewa era. era. Okay, right. so stay tuned. And then of course, we have our other news in a minute, mm. followed by... Facebook face-off. Mm. Which, which you won yeah. last week. We start on a clean slate, right? Yes, yeah. clean slate, and then you won, so I think it's time for you to set a new world record. Is it? Yes. What's the world record before this? You have to have five consecutive wins. Okay, but that's your record, That was right? mine. So yeah. I have to get the sixth one, yes, then I'll break right. the record. Exactly. Fine, fine, we'll mm. do that. Okay, so fans, please vote for me later. <laughs> okay, let's see. You're what do we have? The people. <laughs> Samuel Chua says, Hello, finally back watching after not being able to do so for three weeks. What happened, Samuel? Let us know. Okay. Oh, JM Wong says, Monday I'm visiting SPH Tapao. Okay, why don't you pop by SPH Straits Times as well? Yeah, let us know, right? JM Wong also says, Hi both, long time never come in Liao. Yes, yeah. we've noticed you haven't been around. Yeah, correct. Uh, Mom is watching as well. Samuel Tra says, I'm ready to vote for Facebook Face Off. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm quite confident. I think I have pretty good jokes. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think even you will find it funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, continue to, you know, just say hi, hello. I think we can say hi as well. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Hey, everyone. Oh, and then uh, mm. Sri Hari mm -hmm. Koirala says hi, hello and namaste from Nepal. Mm, nice. Hello. Okay, continue to... Someone saw you at a hotel, by the way. <laughs> 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 so let us know, right? Uh, what do you think of the topics that we're going to talk about later on as well? Mm. Mm. You know, let's say we're talking about work, as if work is already not hard enough. Imagine having to deal with fights in the workplace, like literal fights. Literally, fights, right? Fights, fights, <laughs> yeah. fights. So there were two videos, they were anonymously posted online this week, and it shows entertainment lawyer Samuel Sell beating and chasing a female staff, and it made their rounds online. Mm. The incident is reported to have taken place a year ago. Yep. Yeah. Uh, at that time, the lawyer had been accused of physically and verbally assaulting two staff members in separate incidents. Now, Mr. Xiao has made a police report and released a statement, hitting out at the people whom he said were constantly and conscientiously seeking to cause damage to him. Mm. Now, if you haven't seen the video that's online, here's a look. You beat me! You dare to beat me! Stop it! Boss, 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 you cannot tell me said. what was happening. You beat me. You're not fighting for me. I'm black. Sam! Stop bullying me. Sam! Stop it. Sam! Stop it. Anybody can fight on the side. I'm going to fight off it. Sam! 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 Sam!
Oh my goodness. That was intense. That was intense. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> now for those of you who are wondering who uh, Mr. Xiao is, he's the managing director of Samuel Xiao Law Corporation and owner of Beam Artist Management Firm. Now he has a high profile entertainment lawyer, having previously represented big names like singer Tanya Chua and former actress Michelle Saram. Last year, there was also a 30-minute audio clip of the incident at Samuel Law Corporation. It was mm. also circulated online. One of the employees also made a police report in which she accused Mr. Sell of grabbing and pushing her, among other things. Mm. But she withdrew the report last May and Mr. Sell also withdrew his complaint to the police at the same time. Yeah, and now with the incident in the news again, after the release of the video clips, Mr. Sell said he hopes to find closure with the issue soon. Now, he admitted that there was an issue in his office last year and that being an entrepreneur is never easy juggling between finding work, feeding people and paying salaries on time. Now, it is a constant struggle. That's what he said. Mm. Mm. Now, the Law Society, they've also weighed in and they underlined that it does not condone any form of abuse by the lawyers, but they did not reveal if any disciplinary action has been taken, is being taken against Mr. Sell. Mm. Although the uh, complaints were withdrawn last year, Law Society President Gregory Vijayendran said if something is serious enough, the Law Society Council has the discretion to refer the matter to the inquiry panel. Now, this panel reviews complaints and can recommend either dismissal or sanctions such as warning, reprimand or penalty. Mm. So what we want to know to those watching, what will you do if it happens to you? If yeah. you are a victim of workplace abuse or if you know someone who had it? Yeah, and you see the thing it. is, these kind of fights, uh, the workplace is like a second home, it right? Is. You spend a lot of your waking time in the office. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, at least eight hours, or on at average eight hours a day. Yeah, and the fact that, Alyssa, you know, we are desk buddies, we sit Side Literally side. side by side yeah. and then Thursday we're here side by side. So by the time weekend comes around, it's like, okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Friday night, we, okay, go, bye. <laughs> we go lunch together. We, we go, go for tea time together. And then dinner, we go together. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are like almost inseparable. It's like, exactly. we are like siblings, right? Yes, siblings that are. get along. <laughs> so it should be a safe place for people to work and build relationships with co-workers. However, when people work in close proximity for five days a week, interpersonal problems are likely to arise and in turn, Hostility may fester. Yes, and um, then it might result right? in passive aggressive jokes and stuff. <laughs> or when we know like we joke too much and then we overstep our boundaries and then Is one it? of us will crack this very pegro response. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, office abuse or bullying can of course take on many forms. Uh, mm. One, physical is pretty obvious. Yep. There is also verbal and even passive aggressive behaviour. Like, like I was saying, there is also sexual. There is also sexual harassment at the workplace, uh, and it can be considered as bullying. Mm. And with the advent of technology, cyberbullying is also prevalent. Yeah, and mm. cyberbullying, of course, you know when uh, you take it online, like, right? You spread rumors online, or mm. you just bash somebody online. Have you got any cyberbullied before? Any cyber I have. Bullies? Yeah. So um, I think this was like when I was in secondary school. Yeah. It was all the trend to like create your own blog or your own website right. on geocities.com. Right. Right, yeah. and then uh, you insert this like little widget where people you can do live chat with people. People can okay. leave a comment, okay. and I have received like not so nice comments. Oh, no. Yeah, and I found out actually it's a classmate of mine who was doing it like during lunch break. <laughs> Maybe he's getting your attention. That's why. No, it's a girl. I went to all girls school. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You went to an all girls. Yeah. Or maybe she just wants to get attention from you. I don't know. I have no idea. But, <laughs> but then again, you see, there are all these grey areas as well. Like what yeah. constitutes bullying, right? Um, mm. For example, if a supervisor is quick to berate a su subordinate over a mistake, is it verbal abuse or just a management style? Exactly. Because sometimes some soups can be very petty. <laughs> sometimes the things they say, it's a bit like, hmm. Yeah. But you know. Or is it bullying a superior? Or is it bullying if a superior constantly inundates a junior employee with assignments? Mm. Or yeah. the reverse, if a superior is a, if a superior puts another in cold storage, yeah. so rather than giving you so many so much work to do, you actually you get like no work to do. Yeah. So yeah. we need to understand right the parameters of bullying. Other than mm. making unwanted sexual advances, aware defines the use of derog derogatory and belittling terms as well as career threats. Uh, this mm. threat of termination or withholding promotion if an employee refuses to go on a date or agree to sexual favors as sexual harassment. Mm. Mm. And the workplace bullying institute. 
interestingly, mm -hmm. they, there's an institute, defines bullying as repeated health-harming mistreatment of one or mm. more persons mm. by one or more perpetrators. Mm, right? Deliberate hindering or sabotaging of work progress is yep. also defined as a form of bullying. Yep. And over here, interestingly, it says repeated health-harming mistreatment. A lot of it is also psychological, a lot and of it is mental, mental like torture I would exactly. say to the to the sufferer to the victim exactly so what action can you take if you are you know put in such a situation right so mm. as an employee you need to know what your employee rights are go through the HR manual right <laughs> which no, have you read no I have not read <laughs> I haven't read it either <laughs> now what if the bully is your direct supervisor or boss of the company mm. it's a bit more tricky right because you yeah. have to work with this person every day correct so uh be sure to document the incidents uh, so this will help lend credibility to your testimony mm. when you do eventually escalate this up to HR. Correct. I take note of the witnesses around as well uh, and also more importantly whether the witness is going to be on your side or more likely to just you know be on the employer's side. Most important, don't wage a war without any supporters or yes. without backup. <laughs> I mean if you watch Game of Thrones, Spoilers. Oh, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, 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 wow. Game of Thrones reference. Yeah, just plugging it because you do the podcast <laughs> and the yes. review every Monday, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, and also extends, this also extends to co-workers, right? So if you have a co-worker who has overstepped his or her boundary, sound them off and, you know, explain to them why you are not comfortable with mm. whatever do, that they are doing. Yeah, and mm. sometimes we do this by kind of like passive, aggressively yeah. joking with each other. Then we know that we've crossed that line. Exactly, exactly. Right? Uh, or report to the HR department. Now, if that proves ineffective, because sometimes there is reluctance, right, uh, mm. to punish due to the fact that maybe the bullies are uh, high up key or appointment key holders. appointment holders or generally just favoured by the company, right, then uh, you can submit a complaint to the re relevant government authorities. Mm, which would be the Ministry of Manpower. Mm. And if the abuse turns physical, definitely please make a police report yep. and if you are fired after submitting a complaint against a higher up do know that you can seek recourse by discussing your legal options with a lawyer mm. right so those are things that you can look out for right mm. and for those of you again just now our question is if you or you know of someone who's caught in a situation what would you do yeah right? let's take some comments let's see let's see um kendra says who hangs out with such a serious face serious man Wait, who? You or me? <laughs> <laughs> who, you or me? Tarin Ong says, Workplace bullying should be reported to HR. Violence, harassment of any kind should be dealt by the police. Mm. Mm. Okay, and then... Hmm. Uh, let's see, we have uh, JM Wong that says, MOM complains and seek for advice. Mm. And Samuel Chua says you have nice socks. Oh, thank you. Mm. There you go. <laughs> it's up. Uh, let's see. Dexter Teo says, seems like a fun talk as usual. What? Seems like a fun talk. <laughs> I think it's our, oh, our, our chemistry. Banter, it? our I've chemistry. said this three times. <laughs> yes, yes. Tarin Ong also says, I can't imagine what will happen if there's no one in the office to stop him. Yeah, that's mm. true. So continue to let us know, right? Uh, what would you do if you or you know of someone yeah. who's caught in a situation uh, where they are abused? Yeah, or if you've ever had the experience of um, having to go through this unfortunate kind of experience yeah. and then maybe you've reported to HR before and how did it go? I yeah. mean, if you can share. Yeah. Right. Now, in a country where land and space for landfill is limited, Singapore's recycling system and culture is really underdeveloped. Exactly. So, just last year, Singapore already generated mm. waste, uh, which weight is equivalent to close to half a million yeah. double-decker buses. I mean, that's really heavy. Very heavy. Yeah. Very heavy. I mean, can you push that a double-decker bus? I can't even push exactly. my own... Um, okay, let me... <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, the Sumaco landfill also, where we put our like ash, like yeah. the, the burnt trash, is yeah. expected to run out of space by 2035, which is very soon. Mm. Now, a recent report found that 6 in 10 Singaporean households recycled regularly, but not many know what can or cannot be recycled. Mm. For mm. example, you can't throw used food containers like styrofoam boxes, you know, for your and all that mm. or pizza boxes uh, because those are dirty and it can't be recycled mm. also that big blue bin you see around HDB estates it's for recycling but people also throw other things that are not supposed to into the bin as well mm. food or liquid waste clothes shoes and oh. bags yeah. no no, right? no that's a no mm. so Mr. Louis Ng the MP for Nisun GRC he takes a look at one of the blue bins uh, with ST during one of his walkabouts I think really one of the, the main issues is the location of the recycling bin. So we have placed it here so that it's easier for the recycling companies to collect the bins. But I think at the same time, it results in a lot of contamination in that people will throw all sorts of rubbish in here because it's convenient to 
But I think if we can shift the, the recycling bins to say where the lift uh, lobbies are, where uh, the letter boxes are, I think that will help to increase the recycling rate because it becomes a lot more convenient for people to recycle as well. But the positive is, it is positive. I mean, if you look in this recycling bin, you can really see that there are people who have made the efforts uh, to package the items and to really help in the recycling efforts in Singapore. Hmm. So there you go, a lot of trash inside the recycling bin. So, yeah. But having said that, Singaporeans definitely have good intentions when it comes to being more environmentally aware and sustainable. Like for one, a lot of us are now saying no to straws. Yeah, I'm trying that. Yeah, mm, I'm trying and then opting out of packaging. Like when, yeah. when, you, okay, when, when I buy stuff, mm. I say, okay, I don't need a plastic bag. Or bring your own tumbler when you get drinks as well. Which you do, right? For your Which TO, I do. right? Yeah, correct for my TO. Mm. But we still got a long way to go to closing the loop and we can definitely improve on our recycling system and culture. So the question is, right, what do you think can be done to make recycling easier here in Singapore? Mm, because one of the reasons mm. uh, Singaporeans give for those who don't recycle yeah. is they say it's inconvenient, you mm. know, like I have to sort through the trash, or the, I don't have a lot of things to recycle, but. Yeah. Yeah, those are excuses and there are some yeah. excuses which, which I use as well I'm exactly, guilty of it exactly. too exactly now yeah. of course uh, the National Environment Agency has plans to improve recycling infrastructure and raise awareness mm. in a survey 70% of 1,300 people survey said that a redesign of the labels on recycling bins might help yeah Yeah. so if you if you look at the bin right um, you see all those things it's like honestly it's, it's just a visual mess yeah, to me it is I honestly, until I did this story, I didn't know what the blue bin was, but I didn't know what I could throw in. Yeah, or I not throw I in. I actually throw in everything in there, you know, because I just really like a bin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you rather me throw that than onto the, on the streets, right? <laughs> okay, so first, what we can do maybe mm. is to learn how to recycle the right way. Yeah. So already we mentioned before, don't throw soiled paper waste into mm. recycling bins, and also for like drink yeah. cans, bottles, plastic, glass or aluminium, yeah. all those have to be rinsed before you put into a recycling bin. Exactly. Mm. Other things like clothes, toys, uh, etc. should be given away instead of being recycled. Yeah, instead of being thrown into the yeah. bin. And e-waste should be recycled in designated e-waste recycling points in Singapore, which you can check out at the NEA website on where these points are. And we mm. have a, a we have map right screenshot. There. So actually there's mm. a lot of points all around Singapore um, so it's actually a bad excuse for a bad reason for us now, knowing that there are so many points, and then we just throw into a bin. Yeah, like exactly. Like for your phones, for exactly. example. Exactly. So let us know, right? What do you think of recycling? How we can improve? Ellie, mm. any uh, recycling experience? Okay. To be honest, I'm not very good at recycling here in Singapore, mm. but for some reason, I'm very good at it when I was uh, in Japan. So recently, right. I went to Japan to visit my friend who lives there, right? Yeah. Um, and they separate their trash. Uh. So like paper has to be paper, plastic, and then the perishables. Uh. Yeah. Um, so much so to the point where I was conscious of what I was going to buy. Then I would think like, oh, and then later, you know, if I bring this back, uh -huh. then I need to decide, oh, I don't buy it. Like, don't buy this, it's don't quite buy good, right? Then you will influence your shopping habits as well. Yeah, make me right? spend less money, I suppose. <laughs> or or yeah. at least, like, instead of having this drink to go, why not have the coffee there, there in a yeah. glass cup? Correct. Right. Or, or, for example, if let's say you're on the way home and you're just thirsty, instead mm. of buying that drink, you know, you just tell yourself, okay, I'll wait out, I'll just drink at home. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But the thing is, in Singapore, like the government already tries to make it very easy for us to recycle. Mm. So in Japan, as I mentioned, they have to sort through the recyclables, yeah. right? Yeah. Actually, we don't. So in that blue bin, mm. you can throw glass, plastic, paper, yeah. and it will be sorted out at the waste management, the recycling oh, management okay. facility. So That's actually, we we really don't have any excuse to, yeah, not, to recycle. not recycle. We already right. have it quite easy. Yeah. Let's yeah. see what people say. Uh, hmm, we have Wei Cheng Pong says, My neighbor throw anyhow, and it's better to stop this. We dislikes. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay, and then Vic Aloysius says, uh, In regards to the, the workplace abuse issue, mm. referring to the lawyer, he should know the law better than anyone, and he is also, as he is also a top entertainment. Yeah. Lawyer. Samuel Trust says, we need more recycling bins everywhere along the streets, shopping malls with at least one set on each level. I also agree that the recycling bins should be separated into individual bins. Mm. So for like glass, yeah. paper and general waste. Yeah. So right. we, we do have those, I believe, like along Orchard Road, I've seen mm. those. Mm. Uh, but maybe if they made the bins like yep. see-through, then you can see clearly. Yep. 
Yeah. Correct. And of course, we have somebody who still cannot let go of the fact that we have premium content. <laughs> Emily Chan says they should discuss why everything premium. Instead, just let people see an advert to earn an income. Income. Well, let's just say that we need to get paid <laughs> a salary. Every But more month. importantly, also we want to give you the best, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's all the money. Hey, mm. right? Uh, now, uh, while yesterday was a public holiday for most of us, right? except for you, Ellie. Except for me. Uh, May one was an auspicious day for the Japanese. Exactly. It was the start of the new Reiwa era. The re sorry, re Reiwa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time twister. Okay, so basically, what okay. it means is a beautiful harmony, mm. and also it's the crowning of the country's new monarch. Emperor Naruhito and his father, Emperor Akihito, stepped down due to health reasons. Yep. Now in Japan, their time and history is marked by eras, with a new era for each emperor. So when Emperor I Akihito stepped down, it brought the Heisei era to a close. Mm, Now if you're wondering what all of this has got to do with us Singaporeans, exactly. actually it does. It does, kinda. kinda yeah. Mm. So we did. I I think our formative years took most of it took place in the yes. Heisei era. Uh, not that I knew what it was until a few days ago. Yeah, yeah exactly, but we've exactly. actually been impacted by it. For one, we've enjoyed a lot of the innovations yep. that came forth during these 30 years. Mm. For one, Nintendo Game Boys, how many of us have not wanted or played a Game Boy? I love, I love Nintendo it, Switch. Right? Yeah, yeah, I, I had a Game Boy Advance too. My, oh, mine was the old Game Boy. The, is it the grey one? The grey one, ah, yeah, the big, okay, okay. bulky one. And then one. I had Game Boy Color. Ah, and then I played, that was where I played my first Pokemon on. Oh, yeah. nice. I know, Pokemon and then Pokemon again. Also. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. And then there's also the Tamagotchi or slash uh, Digimon. Mm, I was I, on both. I had both too. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, emojis. Uh, there's also the Sony Walkman, CD players, PlayStation, TVs. Yeah. Do you know I what had, is a Walkman? Yes, I know now. It's <laughs> <a> <laughs> okay, so the Sony Walkman <laughs> is the cassette player, right? And yes. then the Sony... This, this man. man is the one where you play a disc. Play a disc. The exactly. CD lah. Yeah. I, I, I had the disc man. You had the disc man, but yeah. not a Walkman lah, not a cassette player. I don't think I no, I don't think I had it. Ah, yeah. okay. I remember those times when you know. You had to uh, like wind it with a exactly. pencil. Is it the end of the pencil Correct, and yeah. then you wind well, now it? Now I'm revealing my itch. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, and of course the movie Spirited Away, which I really like, and it's I believe it won the foreign film, yeah. best foreign film. Correct. Uh, and and wait, this is the one with the the, the song. Na, 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 right. Okay. Honestly, na, na, the the song na, sounds very familiar, na, but I na. can't recall if it's that song. <laughs> Let us know if you <laughs> yeah. that's the song for Spirited Away. <laughs> yeah, not bad. And also, there's Japanese music. So before K-pop, there was J-pop. Yes, there is uh Utada Hi Hikaru. Utada Hikaru. There's Ayumi Hamasaki. Ayumi Hamasaki. I think it was a lot of guys. Um. Yeah. Pin up girl, right? Yeah. And then there's uh the girl there's band Speed as uh, well. Speed. There's yeah. also Smap. Smap, yeah. A very handsome Takuya Correct. Kimura, whose daughter, one of his daughters now is a model. Oh, really? Yeah. So Takuya is the one on the most left, most extreme left. Sorry, extreme most left. left. Uh, the one with the blue jacket, blue just jacket. looking intensely. Yeah, all brooding and. All brooding, but all of them are brooding, lah. To be honest. <laughs> 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 so let us know, right? What is it that you enjoyed from? Even if you didn't know it was on the rewrite, rewrite uh, the Heisei, Heisei era. era. Uh, let us know, you know, whether you enjoyed these things as well. Yeah, just just reminiscing. We're just reminiscing about yeah. the past. Yeah, and maybe you can start the Riwa era on a right note by setting a new world record by um, winning. Is winning it? Facebook face off <laughs> six times in a row. <laughs> How about that? Then you can, no? Fine, Remember fine, it? fine. Okay, let's see what yeah. people have to say. Uh, we have Adora Sarah that says hello, hello, PIC and Ellie. Hello mm -hmm. to you as well. And then uh, someone says abdication. Oh, is the throne uh, Diki Karnan that says that. Is it got to do with? Uh, yes, he he did abdicate. Uh, yeah. Braki, he did abdicate. Okay. Uh, Jay Wan oh. says, and there also one popcorn. Which one? Which one's a popcorn? The Jap but the Japanese didn't come out popcorn, right? <laughs> I can't remember. I I still don't know, right? I, I remember. All right, so let us know, right? Oh what gosh. else uh, you enjoyed during that era? Mm. And with that, onto our next segment: other news in a minute. Right, so in under one minute, here are the other headlines of the week. Mm. So the first one is... Trying to lose <laughs> weight. You might want to eat more rice, suggests a study that found people following a Japanese or Asian style diet based on rice were less likely to be obese than those living in countries with low rice consumption. It might be because rice is low fat, but please check with your dietitian. Now, if getting in shape like Harianto <laughs> is hard, 
if you find it hard, guess what? It's easier than you think. A hospital in Bangkok, Thailand has an instant six-pack surgery for those who don't have time to hit the gym but still want results anyway. No pain, still gain. <laughs> now, last segment. All that practice with the recorder during music lessons in primary school have finally paid off. A bizarre brawl between two men saw one of them swinging a recorder at the other, who retaliates by swinging a tall potted plant back at him. When the police arrived, the man with the recorder was seen standing by the side and playing it slightly off key. No one knows why he did it. And Mystery. with that, Facebook face off. Oh yeah, yeah. so ending this week's hangout with ST on the line note, we have Facebook face off, which I think some of you are looking forward to as well. Exactly, exactly. I'm quite excited <laughs> for this. It's funny just now. Okay, we have to tell you why we are laughing because okay. there is a certain way that we crafted the script such that Ellie reads this part, I read that part. Yes. So naturally, of course, I was not going to read the part where I'm going to talk about myself and the six packs. Although right? it's not that hard to believe. But <laughs> 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 and hey, you know, it's been a while that That's we have nice this... That's a nice save, thanks. Yeah, thanks. thanks. It's been a while that we have this uh, person, I guess, mm -hmm. on our Facebook face-off. So <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together to welcome... Josh, Josh Joe! Okay, yay! It's been a while, Josh Joe, where have you been? Where have, where you, have you been? been? All my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, careful, it's a stitch. Okay, so how uh, this works is, mm. uh, Jan and I, we pick comments from the Straits Times Facebook page. Uh, if you find it, if you find like my pick funnier, you type in A. If you find Hiron Tosan funnier, type in H. And if you think that, you know, you miss Judge Joe and you want to vote for Judge Joe, you can vote J as well. Mm. Okay? Okay, round one. Elisa. Elisa. <laughs> Alisa, go. Alisa, okay. So this story is Singaporeans spend more time on property searches than reading bedtime stories to their children. So they spend an average of 3.29 hours on property window shopping compared to about just over an hour reading bedtime stories to their kids. So, Shloka Vidya Sagar says, This is the strangest fact I never knew I needed. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Judge Joe is so impressed. <laughs> no, no, Judge Joe is laughing. <laughs> okay, mine. This is about, again, the instant six-packs now possible at this plastic surgery hospital in Bangkok. Um, and then, Tae Wen Hao says, Hi, I'm Mike Chang and welcome to Six Pack Shortcuts. I don't know whether you're, you remember, right? You remember, right? <laughs> exactly. So if you remember the advertisement, it's so annoying every time you go onto YouTube and then it plays, right? <laughs> Clearly, she doesn't know what we're talking about. I have no idea. I have no idea. Mike Chang, Mike Chang, he's known for his Six Pack Shortcuts thing, yeah. I see. On YouTube. Oh. Yeah, he was promoting it all over YouTube. So again, if you think that uh, Alyssa's comment is funnier, you type in A. If you think Harajo's comment is funnier, type in H. If you think that Josh Joe is the funniest, you type in J. Okay, mm. second round, I go. So basically, this is a story about ERP charged to go up by $1 at two gantries next Monday morning. Mm -hmm. Azrin Ramat says, Why ERP does not have the same breakdown just like MRT? <laughs> right, right. Okay. Alisa, you go, Alisa. I go, okay. Okay, so this woman, she admitted to being part of an all female group that beat up a girl accused of flirting with her friend's boyfriend. Mm. She's an art school student, mm -hmm. right? And she pled guilty to that. So Elvin Town said, like, Art student, definitely in the field of mixed martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, because Bita. <laughs> No, because huh? but yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So again, if you think that Alyssa is funnier, you type in A. If you think Haruto is funnier, you type in H. If you think that uh, Jajo is the funniest, you type in J. Mm. Okay, Alyssa, go. Okay, last so round. This is the last round, the yeah. deciding one, right? The deciding okay. one. Okay. So the one I chose is fans who want to meet the chain smokers. Hey, okay. they'll be coming to Singapore on August 21st. Yeah. So Angel Erdna says their stage is just going to be one giant yellow box. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Chase focus. Okay. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. Okay, mine is about the man with recorder fights uh, man wielding potter plant, uh, which we shared in Onyam earlier on. Su Wong says, in remorse, one turned over a new leaf and the other played a different tune. 
good. It's good. It's good. So again, for you guys uh, to vote, if you think that Lisa is funnier, you type in A. If you think Harrington is funnier, you type in H. If you think that uh, Judge Show is the funniest, you type in J. Type in J. So please go away. Go away. No, <laughs> please go vote. Yeah. Go crazy for the vote away. Okay, let's see what have people said. Uh, Dicky Karanan says, "Don't forget Sadako." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the Sadako. Juon, right? Mm. Juon Sadako. Samuel Trout also says, "I love Game Boy Tokyo too. Jeff. So many memories playing it." Ah, mm. okay. Oh, Yoshino Yoshinori Kanazawa says, "Hi, I'm from Japan." Hey, konnichiwa. Uh, konnichiwa. konnichiwa. Right? Not Kumbawa, right? Kumbawa is if good evening. Can also. Okay, Kumbawa. But Kumbawa. definitely not Oyasumi Nasai lah. <laughs> no, it's not yet, right? Not going to sleep, right? Okay. <laughs> what else have people said? Um, a oh, lot of people so saying far. hi. Mm. Hello, everybody. Adora Sarah said hi. Yeah. Why Pong's did she say hello, hello, PIC? <laughs> Pana and crime. Oh, okay. Pong Pana Sin crime. says hello from Thailand. Sawadee uh, kap. Then there is also... Uh, let's see... How are, eh? are the votes coming Yen in? Yen Swen Tan oh. says hi! Exclamation mark. Noraini says hi both. Mm. Yeah, where are the votes? Only Samuel Tra is voting. <laughs> Samuel Tra has been waiting since we started yeah. the show, by the way. Come on, come on. Vote for H. Put H, put H, put yeah, H. I mean, I mean, I have... Oh, I was going to say that I'm in the running, but now your mom has <laughs> leveled, leveled the playing field. <laughs> ah, leveled the playing field. Any for Judge Joe? Yeah. The gesture is quite entertaining. Oh, we have somebody from Australia. Hi, Alyssa and Harianto from K Kiabram in Victoria in Australia. I don't know whether oh, I pronounced that correctly. Hi. K Bram, is that right? Kiabram? Okay, how, how come can <laughs> judge just see? Kiabram. 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 I don't know. I don't okay. Know okay, so let's let's maybe give another five seconds. Yes. Yeah. Because I know you saw you had another extra board. You want to close the voting system. <laughs> How <laughs> long are you? <laughs> okay, okay. okay, five seconds, fine. Okay. H, H, H. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. And the winner is. And the winner is Jamro, please. Da -da 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 -da. It's a tie! <laughs> hey, honestly, my name is Zach. I'm coming in already. Yeah, Zach and Yen Shen. Yeah. Last yeah. minute voters, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Fine, both of us won. Uh, of course, Judge Joe, so you win, lah. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is all we have for you for Hangout this week. For more news and videos, do log on to straightstimes.com. We're also on social media, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. And we have our own Instagram account now. Mm -hmm. And our own uh, email address as well. So if you want to get in touch with us, eh, how come it's not coming up? Boom. <laughs> Boom. There, you, there you go. go. Boom. If you want to uh, get in touch with us, we are the ones on the email. Yes. We will reply to your email. We are also the one handling the Instagram. Yeah, so slide into our DMs. Slide into our DMs. Oh. That is right. Okay, I think that's it yeah. right, for this week. Once again, she's Alyssa. And he's Harianto. And, and this, this is, is Judge Joe. Goodbye and see you next week. week.